I hail with enthusiasm Pechelman and Oprechtitika's call for the inclusion of new rhetoric in every man's humanistic education, said Professor Douglas H. Parker of Chaim Pechelman. Born in Poland in 1912, Pechelman is one of the foremost Jewish rhetoricians. Affected but undeterred by Nazi Germany, Pechelman developed the new rhetoric, a dense theory of argumentation, value, and audience analysis. As a philosopher, Pechelman rejected logical positivism and the view that deduction holds the key to all truth. Instead, he advocated for a quasi-logic in which persuasion takes into account different definitions of categories and understandings of phrases. He argued that value is central to epideictic speaking, and that it is necessary for the speaker to be able to relate to the audience according to society's values. This is called communion. This departed significantly from his contemporaries, who focused on strict, logic-centered persuasion. Instead, Pachelman advocated for shared understanding as both the product and the prerequisite of rhetoric. Central to Perelman's work is the concept of the universal audience. He argued that all audiences are constructed by the speaker. A universal audience is when the speaker assumes that they represent all rational beings in humanity. A rhetorician would appeal to the universal audience through fact and truth. On the contrary, the particular audience is that of a single group of people which share values. For a particular audience, one should appeal to those commonly held values. When the arguments of the speaker and the understandings of the audience coincide, they achieve adherence. This was revolutionary in rhetoric. Perelman allowed for emotive insight rather than stale semantic squabbles. He created a system in which value is always evolving, and therefore, so is the relationship between the speaker and the audience.